Hi, this is Jordy from Blue Heron School. We're based out of Squam Lakes Natural Science Center. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make sailboats out of paper and sponges. And you'll also need a big lake, pond, Tupperware full of water to use. So it's pretty easy. Um, I used shish kebab sticks but you could probably also use toothpicks. Um, what you want to do is poke it through your sail, through the top and through the bottom. And you really want to poke it through the center like that because the other day I made them and I poked it through the side and the whole thing kept tipping over and my sail got wet and that's not good. Um, and the kebab stick is pretty long, so I'm going to cut that off. You can just notch it with scissors and then snap it. And then I'm going to take this sponge, I'm going to stab my sail right into the middle of it. And let's see what happens when we put it in the water. It floats! and it sails away. Now this could be a really fun science experiment because you could try, I made this sail look this way. I'm not sure if it'll work as well, but you can always try doing different types of sails. So we'll give this shape a go and see how that works. And my sail's a little bit smaller, so I'm going to use a smaller sponge also for this. Be careful not to poke your hand. That would not be good. All right. It floats. It looks like it's sitting straight up and down. And it went away. I'm going to make maybe one more. Maybe I'll do this shape. I'm going to use my leftover piece. This one's not as easy to poke through because it doesn't have the point on it. Which is why I think maybe toothpicks might be better. Those big kind of toothpicks. I need to make a hole for this one. All right, there's another sailboat. Put it down in the water. Floats. And then once you've made a bunch of sailboats and you have them all in your pond, what would be really cool to do is to put them all next to each other and see if you can have a sailboat race, which one will do the best. <laughs> you might need a little bit more space to do that. But see what kind of construction works best for your sailboats. It's really fun. Have a great summer, everybody.